welcome back to Skyrim SE. We are going to be checking out the City Entrance Overhaul Windhelm mod, and this is going to be something like a Windhelm outskirts. There's a whole unit of guards outside around the bridge, and they have a building that serves as the guard barracks. The place feels way more secure. Uh, there's a good chance that you will need patches for this mod as it was quite difficult putting together <laughs> So on my build I had um, a few things that was going wrong like the uh, Lanterns was floating in the air and you know other miscellaneous objects and things like that. So uh, the entrance to this place uh, Makes Windhelm looks look very intimidating, you know, there's crucified skeletons and dead Imperial soldiers hanging in the cages so when i was walking by this area i got some serious new vegas legion vibes looking at this uh at these you know poor tortured souls so uh honestly i wasn't a fan of these dead bodies that was hanging in the front but luckily there is an add-on called city entrance overhaul less gruesome which will actually get rid of the skeletons that in the um crucifixion post as well as the dead soldiers in the cages so uh the polar bear that's also behind the guard barracks will be removed uh overall i say that this mod looks great and assuming that there's no nav mesh issues i am going to keep this one next up we have a survival mod called hunterborn and with this mod it will give you options when interacting with a dead animal corpse so you will get options to field dress the animal and then you can skin it for its pelt collect the meat and gain other crafting materials as well as the bones so for some reason this mod does not have an mcm at least not on my end which is a bit disappointing because i have this mod for ellie as well and that actually does have an mcm i always like the option to make make it so that time doesn't pass by when you're skinning the animal because i think that could be like pretty buggy and performance heavy so uh overall though the mod does work as it should and um you know if you don't have any problem with the default settings i recommend using this one to go along with the hunterborn mod we have something called carry your carcass and this will let you go up to dead animals and interact with them getting a new prompt to pick the animal up on your back with immersive equipment displays you can actually see the character carrying the carcass so be sure to get the add-on that will play alternate animations while carrying them so you can carry multiple carcasses but they weigh a lot so the chances of you doing this are very slim what can carry multiple carcasses with no problem is your trusty steed if you have a mod that lets you open your horse's inventory then you can place the carcasses in there and the animals will then be displayed on the horse. You have to mess around in the display menu to position the items to your liking. If you want, I will upload my preset so you can try it out. I really like this mod and it's definitely a keeper for me. Okay, so I'm going to take a trip over to Solitude to show off the Enhanced Solitude Docks mod. And this thing is insane. The place will be filled with extra structures of all sorts, like more buildings, more docks, and more boats. This mod will cover a lot. Way too much in my opinion. It will cover the area from Catless Farm all the way down to the Dainty Slode. And it's likely to conflict with other mods that you have in this area. Honestly, this place looks amazing. And with this mod installed, the solitude will look like a completely different place. But you can just feel the game struggling to run this no matter how powerful your PC is. I truly feel like this is just too much for Skyrim Special Edition. It's beautiful for taking pictures and making videos possibly, but it's too performance heavy and it will most likely give you crashes or infinite loads if you're playing for long periods of time. So in my opinion, this mod is just not worth it. Next is Fortified Whiterun, and it's going to give the Whiterun walls more defenses and towers. Um, so, you know, the towers that have those spike pillar defenses on them, they will have those. And they will also have, like, guards in the tower looking down. So, um, 
there's also like a walkway that's uh going through the wall at the beginning which i really like um this mod may have some conflicts but it's so popular on the nexus that there's most likely a patch for the issue that you might experience so i have ran this mod in my build for a while and i have used it alongside mods like lux via lanterns of skyrim 2 and northern roads and it worked just fine as assuming you could get it into the proper load order so it is performance heavy for what it does um you will gain a lot and you will lose very little frame loss so uh i think it was pretty much worth it to get this one and last up is a mod called where are you and it's a very simple and useful mod so with this you can assign a hotkey that will bring up a search menu and uh you can type in an npc's name and once you do the game will find characters with that name if there are npcs with the same exact name it'll bring up the plugins that contain them and then you just select the one that has the npc that you're interested in so with this you can either remotely change their inventory teleport the npcs to you or you can teleport to them it does work with modded characters as well as you can see in this video i used it on lucian flavius and i was able to teleport to him um and i was using this on other characters but my nvidia started bugging out and i just didn't get get the footage to, sh to completely show off this mod so sorry i'm always getting bs challenges when trying to make these type of videos but i just didn't stress over it so that is going to do it for me the mods shown here can be found on the nexus and i will try my best to link them in the description below so i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you later I'm